This video is brought to you by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Outdoors Del Marva covers everything outdoors. Including real hunting and fishing situations involving wildlife. We do our best each and every week to keep it tasteful, but discretion is advised. Now, enjoy the show. This is Outdoors Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. This week on the show. We are celebrating the holiday season this week on Outdoors Del Marva, and at the top of our wish list is white-tailed deer. Find out who was naughty and who was nice for the final days of Maryland rifle season. Five, five main beans on each side. And it's become something of a tradition here on the show, hauling in the trophy rockfish in December. Will we get a big one or just a lump of coal? Oh, I see it right there. You just got it. Plus, as 2013 winds down, we take a look back at some of our favorite adventures of the past year. Get outdoors, Del Marva. Right now on Outdoors Del Marva. This is Outdoors Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. And now, here's Andrew Taws and Captain Willie Dykes. Thanks for watching Outdoors Del Marva. I'm Captain Willie Dykes. And I'm Andrew Taws. And we'd like to wish everyone out there a Merry Christmas. And we appreciate you taking the time to join us for this special holiday edition of Outdoors Del Marva. Well, Willie, when it comes to whitetail, you know at the top of every hunter's wish list has got to be a trophy buck. That's right, Andrew, and we had the chance to hunt the same neighborhood in northern Worcester County where James Wynn got a whopping 10-pointer with his bow during the rut. And we were hoping that the timing of an approaching winter storm in the middle of rifle season would improve our odds of bagging that trophy buck. And we're going to assimilate two bucks fighting. To help improve the chances of bagging a trophy buck, Danny Wynn will be pulling all the tricks out of his bag for this hunt. To take that hot doe while these two bucks are fighting, that's the idea behind antler rattling. Not only is he going to be antler rattling, but soon after sunrise, several people will head into the woods to hopefully push out some deer. Um, I've seen this work phenomenally well, and then I've seen it not work at all. Even though we are waiting for winter weather, the 5 a.m. temperatures feel like it's already arrived. The ride to the box is frigid. But that doesn't stop Danny from setting up a decoy. As we said, he's pulling all the tricks out of the bag. If they can see that, I can see him, and I got a rifle. So who's going to win in that situation? In the box, we have a great view of what the guys call the Green Mile. It has been baited with corn for weeks, but we are yet to see any deer. Finally, we see a whitetail, and after a closer examination, it looks to be a doe. With the wish list unfulfilled, we call it a day and meet up with the guys who've been doing the legwork. I jumped the, jumped the four point like it was a rabbit. These are I mean, my beagles it. right here. Yeah, don't, don't you say that. <laughs> All right. yeah, Seems like the deer knew before we did that the cold weather was moving in. However, the blame must always rest on someone's shoulders. Hey, what happened? This is Captain Willie's bad luck. That's all I was going to get blamed. Well, Willie, it seems like some of us may have been on Santa's naughty list, but there was one hunter out in Somerset County who must have been doing something nice during rifle season. And joining me now is one of those hunters who must be on the nice list this year, Charlie Tyler and Marion Station. How are you? All right, Andrew, how are you? Not too bad. So, Charlie, I hear you had a nice rifle season. Oh, yes, I did. I killed a 14-point whitetail buck this year. It was uh, real early. It was actually 4.30 in the afternoon uh, down here in Marion. I looked up and I saw my, uh, my monster down there in the field. It was about a 400-yard shot. I, I saw when I was coming up, he was down in the corn stalks um, that we hadn't moved off and I could see his antler sticking out of the corn. I knew that he was a big deer then. I knew he had a lot of uh, width to him. And getting up further and further to him, I could see how big he was, and my heart started, I started shaking even more. As we can tell, we got one, two, three, four, five, five main beans on each side. 
And uh, we got his brow tines and he got two checkers right here. And that's uh, 14 points. Uh, right now the gross score is 200 and a quarter inch. So it's possible to have a new state uh, record for rifle season of a typical uh, whitetail buck. Uh, he's a very nice deer. I won't be able to kill another one like him. <laughs> I feel I'm pretty nice or on the lucky list. There was a Sika deer taken during rifle season in Wicomico County that would be anybody's dream trophy. But this little elf might also qualify for a very special list. And the hunter who took that Sika deer is with us right now, Tim Krause of Salisbury. Tim, how you doing? Nice to meet you, Willie. Well, Tim, uh, did, was this blind luck or did you know you had a big stag in the area? Well, I would say it's mostly blind luck on that one. Now, we've seen this other big sickle on the property, but uh, this particular one we hadn't seen. How big was the other one, the one that you were kind yeah, of hoping for? It was for? a big six point. Uh -huh. I sent some pictures to uh, Chuck Chuck. That's the one we were really looking for. Okay. So when I uh, shot this one, I got down out of the stand and uh, got over to it. I just couldn't believe what I had. I mean, this was, this was something. I guess, so this was an eight pointer. That's correct, yes. Did you uh, have any obvious physical symptoms when you saw that this was an eight pointer uh, in your sights? Well, you know, I didn't know it was an eight pointer. I was thinking it was a six pointer. And I stayed in the stand for about, about five minutes and I couldn't stand it. So I got down, I had to start texting everyone, look what I got. <laughs> I'll bet. There's a possibility that this uh, stag that you have uh, taken might uh, go in the record books. What, uh, what's, what's going on with that? Well, I, uh, I took it down to the taxidermist and, and asked them if they would go ahead and do a measurement for me, a score. And it scored um, 78 and 3 eighths, which makes it larger than the number one state record. Huh. You know, we got to wait and see. I mean, it's there's a 60-day drying period for the antlers. Hey, well, Tim, that was a beautiful trophy, and we can't wait to see how it comes out in the state standings. Congratulations. Well, thank, well, thank you, Captain Willie. Appreciate it. It's always good to know there are at least two hunters that made the nice list for Maryland's rifle season. Get outdoors, Del Marva. Coming up next, an annual Christmas tradition continues here on Outdoors Del Marva. Stick around to see if we haul in a big rock or just a piece of coal. But first, did you know? Sika deer are native to Asia, but have been introduced to other countries, including the United States. According to the Maryland Department of Natural Resources, how and when were Sika introduced to Delmarva? The answer, when we come back. You're watching Outdoors Delmarva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher Standards, sponsored by Shooter's Choice, Shorts Marine, Sean Mann Outdoors, Goody's Marine, and Wink Sporting Goods. Outdoors Del Marva will be right back. Did you know? According to the Maryland Department of Natural Resources, Sika deer were introduced to Delmarva during the early 1900s when Eastern shoreman Clement Henry released about half a dozen deer onto James Island in the Chesapeake Bay. And the rest, as they say, is history. Did You Know is sponsored by North Bay Marina. It's become something of a holiday tradition here on Outdoors Del Marva to go out looking for the big trophy rockfish that hang around in the ocean and the bays this time of year, and we've always seemed to have done pretty well. Yep, and it's uh, that time of year again, so Willie, if you don't mind, I have uh, written a little poem here. <clears throat> Twas three weeks before Christmas and out on the sea, not a rockfish was stirring, and that pretty much gives you an idea of how the rest of the day went. <laughs> you didn't just give up, did you? <laughs> oh, no, Willie. I didn't give up at all. I sprang from my bed way too early and cold to go out fishing on the seas as they rolled. With Captain Brian Wozlevek aboard the Little Angler 2 off the coast of Fenwick Island, Delaware. And I know that doesn't quite rhyme, but then again, I'm not much of a poet. I could have told you that. <laughs> We're looking for striped bass. 
Over 28 inches. We're looking to put fish in the box today. So we're about two miles out in front of the water tower in Bethany. And then I think we're going to head to the shoals and do a little bit of trolling there and see if we can find some big ones. Now, Captain Brian and the crew from Delaware Family Fishing have always put us on the fish. These big black drum that we got back in May are one example. And of course, we were hauling in the tog not too long ago. First one for me today. We are one of 14 boats competing in the inaugural Marlin Club's Rockfish Tournament this year, and the only boat from Delaware. So far, the best catch of this day has been the terrific sunrise that we're seeing just a couple miles off the coast. And when we spot this flock of northern gannets diving for bait fish not far from the boat, we head to the spot and get ready for some action. But <laughs> all we hear are crickets. But our day is far from over, and we'd like to remind everyone that we've had some great luck fishing for the Big Rock in December, such as this trip aboard the Kingfish 2 from 2011. Get outdoors, Del Mar. How could we forget our trip aboard the Ecstasy out of Ocean City? The bite was on last year off the coast of Assateague, and if you caught a fish, you had to sing. Go with it. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. The oh, what fun it's to ride in one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bell, jingle bell. <laughs> oh, you got a nice bag. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. How about that? <laughs> Go. Now we're catching a fish. <laughs> so to increase our odds of catching a fish this year, we decided to break out those Santa hats. Uh, Andrew, I noticed you were missing that fuzzy little ball from the end of your Santa hat. Yeah, I hope that didn't jinx us. I didn't realize until we got out there. I guess one of my three kids must have taken that off. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta work with what you got. Marks on right here. <laughs> and in spite of breaking out the Santa hats, we were gifted the fisherman's equivalent of a lump of coal in the stocking. No rockfish whatsoever. But we did get in the Christmas spirit when we saw this huge raft of snow geese just off our starboard side. And we did get to meet one of the coolest boat dogs we've ever encountered, first mate Jonathan's dog Cooper, who doesn't let a missing foreleg get in the way of a fun afternoon of fishing for December Trophy Rock. Ho, 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 get, get outdoors, outdoors Del Marva. Coming up next, this has been a year full of unforgettable adventures. We hope you'll join us for a preview of the best of 2013. You're watching Outdoors Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Willie, really, from hunting to fishing and everything in between, 2013 has definitely been a year to remember. Indeed it has, Andrew. And we hope you'll join us next weekend for a look back at the best of 2013. But first, here's a preview of what's to come as we look back at some of our favorite adventures. 77 pounds, moves into a tie for first place. 2013 has been a year we won't soon forget. From all the exciting hunting adventures to the memories made out on the waters of Del Marva. Yeah, there we go. And of course, we can't forget the people we've met and the unique adventures that have made this year so special. Yeah, He's gonna be here that night we're here. Hunting always involves an element of luck, and luck was definitely on display for our buck hunt with James Wynn out in Worcester County. There's a good chance we may never get to see anything like this again, and we enjoyed every minute of it. We also took aim at the skies for waterfowl this year, and fortunately for us, never came home empty-handed. When it comes to fishing, we definitely caught the bug, and a yearly five-day event helped cure us of any symptoms the 40th annual White Marlin Open. From the ocean to the scales, it was a week of excitement that you had to see to believe. From lead changing weigh-ins to life changing moments, the White Marlin Open is always worth a second take. Come on. 
And is there anything more memorable than the excitement of a kid's first fish while reeling in a pair of nice sized speckled trout? From beating the drum for Black Drum aboard the Little Angler 2 to a friendly flounder face off, fishing in the waters of Delmarva more than lived up to their reputation in 2013. Good job, Cam Willie. Yeah, there we go. And if it wasn't for fishing, we wouldn't have met our friend Big Bird Cropper, who lets nothing stop him from getting outdoors to fish. Uh, it only allows the blade to, to twist. Plus, we can't forget about those unique adventures, the ones that turn us upside down, right down. and knock us off our feet. And finally, what's better than bringing that outdoor adventure into the kitchen to tempt those taste buds? So we hope you'll join us next week as we look back at the best of 2013. Get outdoors, Delmarva. Coming up next, brighten your holidays with that new car you've been waiting for all year from our friends at Gateway Subaru. You're watching Outdoors Delmarva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Thanks for watching Outdoors Delmarva and happy holidays to you. I'm Captain Willie Dykes. And I'm Andrew Taws. And that's right, the holidays are just a handful of days away. And Willie, if you're looking for a last minute gift idea for me, how about a brand new Subaru? I'll put it on your list, Andrew. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. And if you're looking for a brand new car, what better place to go than our friends right here at Gateway Subaru, located on Route 13 in Delmar, Maryland. Gateway Subaru, higher standards. And joining us now is Steve Worgen from Gateway Subaru. Steve, happy holidays. Happy holidays, Andrew. All right, Steve, if anyone out there is looking for any last minute gift ideas, what can you suggest? A BRZ baby, 2,700 pounds of fun. Check out these LED running lights. When you're going down the highway during the daytime, everyone's going to notice you. If you need a car that goes 0 to 60 in 6.4 seconds, and gets 32 miles per gallon, this is your car. Yeah, it's definitely got some nice comfortable bucket seats here. Not only that, but our car features navigation, so you'll never get lost on those outdoor adventures. Looks like it's got the boxer engine, Steve. That's right. With this, Andrew, you have 200 horsepower and 155 pounds of torque. Lots of fun. Steve, this model has rear wheel drive, doesn't it? It sure does. So you could do a burnout. A long burnout. It sounds like Captain Willie might be doing a few burnouts in this car, so I just want to make sure it's going to keep him safe. This car is a five-star safety rated vehicle. It has six airbags, so whatever your adventure, you're going to be coming home safe. This is a hands-on car for sure. It's for people that love to drive. Not only does this BRZ make a fantastic gift, but there's something else going on here, Steve. Tell us about it. Share the love event. Now until January 2nd, Subaru will donate in your name $250 to one of our five premier charities and also our local charity, the Chesapeake Bay Trust. Not only are you getting a new car, but you're also helping a good cause. All right, Steve Worgen from Gateway, thanks so much. Thank you. And happy holidays to you. And to you too. And if you're in the market for that new car, one that is safe, reliable, and makes a great gift for the holiday season, look no further than our friends right here at Gateway Subaru, located on Route 13 in Del Mar, Maryland. Gateway Subaru, higher standards when it comes to buying that new car. We'll be right back. Coming up next, your latest viewer videos and pictures. Outdoors Delmarva viewer pictures are sponsored by North Bay Marina. You're watching Outdoors Delmarva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Sponsored by Shooter's Choice. Shorts Marine. Sean Mann Outdoors. Goody's Marine and Wink Sporting Goods. Come on. Now it's time to take a look at some of the latest videos and pictures sent in by our own Outdoors Delmarva viewers. Dominic Lunderman of Princess Anne got this big eight point buck in Somerset County during rifle season. Just two days prior, Dominic watched this guy pass by because he couldn't get a shot. 
but then he saw the buck all alone out in a field. And here is 11-year-old Macy Griffin with her own eight-pointer in Wicomico County on Youth Day. Well, that about wraps up our holiday edition of Outdoors Del Marva. And it's that time of year to reflect on what a blessing it is to live in this land with you folks. Absolutely, and I'd like to wish you and your family, Captain Willie, a Merry Christmas. Yours too, Andrew. Thank you, and from all of us here at Outdoors Del Marva, we'd like to wish you and yours a Merry Christmas as well. But don't forget to get outdoors, Del Marva.